and we are just passing by. Are we gonna go down there? One of my cousins. I have been spit on by a humpback whale. Howard Schultz, who owns Starbucks, used to own the Seattle Supersonics and he wanted them to be their friends, and they didn't like him, and so he sold the team, and the team moved to Oklahoma, and we all hate Starbucks. I'm sorry, that's reality. He's the rich, and he sold our basketball team, so we don't like it. But now we're gonna get a hockey team, and so they're renovating the entire arena, billions of dollars. That white stuff, all the white stuff is original. They basically dug a hole, took everything out, built a bigger arena inside of the space, and they're gonna add more people. Originally, this was like 15,000 people. Now it's gonna be like 25. Same exact exterior. There's myths that the whales used to could swim under the land and then pop out in the lake out there. That's what these two sculptures are. They're allusions to the old stories that the Native American tell about whales moving. They supposedly knew a secret passage under this area. This is about as flat as Seattle gets. Seattle's not very flat if you didn't realize that. Well, when you're in somewhere that's flat, it's not real. There used to be a hill here and they washed that hill out. It took 30 years and they moved the hill. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah you can, we can pay for it and it, it, it will take you everywhere. So if we find somebody who is exhausted. Wow, you can Yeah, it's locked you because. <laughs> Straight shot to the ferry, you're gonna sculpt your part, 62, 64, it's all straight this way. Kenya, Kenya! So we're going to keep going all the way on the waterfront, keep going that direction. That's Myrtle Edwards Beach. All that, that's Seattle's beach, not very large and gravel, but that's as beachy as it gets. Right? Tony Apple, and the official videographer. Then Kuna Thomas, the second camera, video. Okay? 
all the photos that we will take to Taziweka Kwa group. So everyone will be able to access their photos. If you have picha unataka yako mwenyewe, hiyo tutapiga and you can get it from me. Sawa? Kama kuna picha yako unataka, hizo tunafanya na selfie na kila kitu. I can take that and you will get those pictures from me. For this gentleman to make sense to all of us, he knows those places that we identified as the areas of interest. When he stops there, everybody needs to be attentive like we are now. This is easy to get a picture. It is easy to get the information that he has and it will make sense in what we will produce. So today we are just passing by. Passing by. We have a long way to go. We still have a ferry to do. We still have our Jerusalem to do. We still have Bain Bridge to go. So we really don't have time, please. So let's energize, have some energy and just match up so we can catch up with time. Amen. 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 This is Myrtle Edwards Park. This is where the Hemp Fest started many years ago. Cannabis is legal in Seattle. Two beaches right here. The granary, one of the biggest exports from Seattle, from Washington, is selling grains to other countries, mostly Asia, China. There's so many people, they buy all of our flax, corn, wheat, barley, oats. Elliott Bay, this bay right here. The tip right in front of you is West Seattle. The tip over there where those ships are, the boats, the sailboats, that's Magnolia. Those are the two points. This is the bay that's in between. It's fed by a river. Most Americans don't realize there's a river out there where those creams are. It's called Duwamish. That was the name of the Native American people that were here before. Chief Seattle was Duwamish, Duwamish. And sadly, they're not recognized. Beautiful beaches along the park, beautiful beaches here. Uh, the sign was a post intelligence, that was one of Seattle's old newspapers back in the 1800s. That newspaper doesn't exist, but that is a historic landmark. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, so our route is really easy. We're going to go that direction. But there are certain piers we're going to hit along the way that have history with them that folks have asked for me to stop and talk about. So it's really easy. We're only going one direction. If we started right now and just didn't stop, it would take at least 30 minutes for us to get to the ferry. And we've got about 80 minutes to do this, okay? We're getting fishing out there. The boats are pulling a net. We're gonna have salmon returning to Seattle in the next week or two if they're not already. Salmon leave from the river, go to Alaska for four or five years, and then they come back and have babies and die right where they were born. No other creature does that. They leave, have a journey, and come back. Our orca, the, the killer whale from this area, are different than all killer whale on the earth. They eat one thing, salmon. If the salmon die out, our orca die out. It's, it, they're an integral relationship, so it's very important. Salmon is integral to Seattle. I hope you will eat some salmon. Fourteen years. This is technically a bay. Uh, a bay has populated islands. So the river runs in, the salt water comes in, the salt water goes out. All the way from the Pacific Ocean. It goes into a strait. It comes 150 miles to come all the way in. that I was talking about to eat the salmon. A great trip to see the whales. You will almost go to the, you'll, you'll be in the sound, the ocean, but you almost go all the way to the border of the United States. 
are two to four hours. Amazing. I have been spit on by a humpback whale right in my face. I, hey, what is that? I look over. Boosh. Spit on. Orcas. I've had an orca go right under my way. This is amazing area. So if you could take a trip, I highly recommend it. That hotel. That hotel is the Edgewater. It was supposed to be built with the Seattle Center, the Space Needle. It took them a year extra. So all the people, all the millions that came to the World's Fair, they didn't stay here. The year after the World's Fair, there was a little a band out of England, four little white boys, you might have heard of them, the Beatles. The Beatles stayed there. I want to hold your hand. Come on, somebody's heard of them, right? You don't know the Beatles? We know the Beatles. The Beatles, they were the biggest band in the world. More so Paul McCartney, John Lennon, George Harrison, Ringo Starr. They slept there and they gave them fishing rods to fish. And they caught fish. Well, everyone stayed at that hotel wanted to fish. There's another band from England called Led Zeppelin. Well, they did a bunch of bad stuff and you can't fish there anymore. So England changed that whole village. The mural right there of the Orca. There's a band called Pearl Jam out of Seattle, Eddie Vedder. He played for that mural, and there's a shark up in the waves up in the left corner. Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam painted the shark that's up in the leaves on the far left. Those are killer whales. There's one shark in the picture, the far left, painted by Eddie Vedder. Even flow! Come on, you know, Seattle, that was all that stupid stuff in the 90s. Long-haired white boys, it's over. All right, let's keep moving. different types of manhole covers in Seattle. Uh, you can actually make a print off of them, they're raised. As we continue to move down the waterfront, please be aware we're gonna pass other pedestrians and bicyclists. We can't be single file, but try to stick to one side as possible. Just give us a very beautiful song that uh, we can. Yeah.
What you guys you are doing is very important.